I've been learning how to be a train engineer with this VR sim called Derail Valley. They said I couldn't deliver these goods in time. Just watch me. <laughs> Just watch me. And being a train engineer is a bit more challenging than I had expected. <laughs> Once I got the hang of it, it was a game that performed really well while looking really good. That's an impressive feat these days. All I want to say is take note, AAA developers, because you guys have really been f***ing up lately. This was my experience with Derail Valley, as a complete beginner with no train sim experience. Dude, I don't even know where my train is! The tutorial gave me some papers, and then it was like, now figure it out, bitch. The tutorial seemed like a good place to start. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, God damn. From the main menu, I could choose between sandbox mode or campaign mode. You can see my legs right now. I'm doing some sick dance moves, but god dang, I need some legs. <clears throat> From the main menu, I could choose between- I want to drive trains. Okay. I can only suspect that once I had started the campaign, there was a basic tutorial that I closed prematurely. That's it? The tutorial was like five steps, dude. What about all the train stuff? Nonetheless, I continued looking for an order that I could deliver. I want to do the cheapest one. I'm not trying to challenge myself right now. I had much to learn over the course of the next half hour, in which I would do much wandering. Much wondering. How does this work? Perhaps these were things I could have learned in the tutorial. I'm wandering around and I don't know what I'm doing. Where's the train? Where's the part that I drive? What the hell's going on? But I didn't mind wandering since the world was so nice to look at. I really like the world here. The world looks really good and runs really well. If I completed the mission in the allotted amount of time, I was going to receive a bonus. There's no way in hell I'm gonna get the bonus. Harbor Town. I had wasted too much time, so I started over with a new mission with a bonus time of 48 minutes. There we go. Zero minutes, this is what we want. Move cars from SB420 to HB E81. Then I wasted more time because to be honest, I had accepted this mission without figuring out what I was supposed to be doing. SMFH972. I need 97. 97? No? Really? Perhaps it wouldn't make for the best content and we should skip through it. <laughs> Electrics, TM offline. Uh, I feel like such a fing monkey right now, dude. <laughs> Having a solid sense of direction certainly would have helped in a game like this. So I'm gonna take my train, I'm gonna ride over there, right? And it's gonna go over there. I want to stop. And come back. Since mine was not solid, things got much easier once I had googled how to turn pages. If this works, I'm gonna shit my pants. <sighs> you hold down trigger in addition to gripping it, and then you use the thumbstick to turn the pages. It's actually quite nice. Now here was the plan, mostly. This is where we are, and we're gonna have to go out west, southwest. So the train will have to be aimed, we're gonna have to come in Basically, the train needed to be loaded and facing southwest. So we had to go out that way. Look at it, it's nighttime. I've been here all day just trying to figure out how to run the damn thing. It really is a beautiful scenery out here, ladies and gentlemen. I tell you, you ought to see it out here in the rolling hills of wherever the f we are. Trial and error was my best resource. Okay, so now we need to like get the train into like the other place that we need to be like at, you know? Once I finally got the train loaded up and ready to go, it was going very, very slow. Look at this, how slow we're going right now. This can't be right. I've surely done something wrong. What's wrong? The engine kept overheating because one of the carts I was pulling still had its brakes engaged. There, just cut it off. We're just gonna let her cool down. Yep, sometimes you just gotta know when to turn her off. Let her take a rest, boys. Take in the scenery, get you a dip, have you a beef jerky, drink you a Mountain Dew. Take in the scenery. Hold up, it's, screech it's screeching out there. It's making a weird screeching noise. That's, that can't be right. After I disengaged the brake, the train was finally ready to make the trip to Harbor Town. Wow, we're going a lot faster now, that's for sure. Obviously, I wanted to see how fast this train could go. Oh, downhill. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's how we're gonna go fast. I'm trying to hit 80, maybe 90 kilometers per hour here. This is good. This is good. We're hitting 50, 60. Come on, we're 60. Give me the 60. Give me the 60. <laughs> oh. Again. Oh shit! 
We just went the wrong way. <laughs> well, guys. I guess I wrecked my train. I guess I wrecked my plastic train. Insurance sure saved my ass again. Runners and sharks let us get your back. I had finally made it to Harbor Town, but I had clearly not made it within 48 minutes. No bonus for me. Yes, yeah, sir. That looks like civilization to me. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. I can't wait. I can't wait to drop this shit off. Harbor Town, here we come. Got your shit. I hope you really need it because God, I went through a lot of trouble to get it here. Whoa, whoa. Hey, a church. That's where everybody goes to handle snakes. The views in this game really were great, especially when the sun rose. I have accomplished stuff. Now to collect the check. I'm here to get paid, and then I'm going to the bar. Then I'm going to the club, then I'm going to casino. I'm gonna invest my money wisely into the slot machines. Don't be like Garzoku and gamble. Gambling is bad, unless you're really good at it. 11,838 smackaroos. Do you know how many dances that's gonna get me? I mean, drinks? Back the, back, back up the caboose. I like the stars in this game. The stars and the sky in this game look a hell of a lot better than they did in Saints and Sinners Retribution because let me tell you, Saints, Re Saints and Sinners Retribution has the ugliest, ugliest sky I've ever seen in a VR game. All in all, I think this game was really great, and I think it would be especially great, probably overwhelmingly great, if you're one of those people who's like a train enthusiast. This would be a dream come true for you, my friend. If you enjoyed the video, tap like, subscribe if you want to stick around, and tap the notification bell if you, you know, like me that much. Peace out.